Despite Israeli Navy threats, Dignity Boat, carrying 15 international activists from different countries, arrived in the besieged Gaza on Saturday morning. The boat set sail from the Cyprus port of Larnaca in a voyage took 15 hours. Voyagers brought with them one ton of medical supplies. The activists said they came to challenge the Israeli siege and to assist the tragic humanitarian situation. Uh, firstly, we'll uh, visit all the hospitals there. We're looking for what they need from medicine and uh, what uh, also maybe we'll think about uh, team, medical team to see maybe we can make uh, some uh, surgeries here. Among the activists were journalists from Israel and Spain who blamed their governments for being complicit in the siege and for what they called crimes against the humanity. Deeply ashamed and distraught that the Israeli government uh, is, is carrying out such crimes against humanity as the siege of Gaza and that the people of Israel are, are, are allowing this to happen. Um, and I call on, on everyone on the world to, to do anything that's possible to make, to make this stop for the good of the people of Gaza and for the good of all people. I really believe that my government is a complice. Of the, of the crime against humanity that the Israelis are, are committing here in, in Gaza. So I'm just trying to transmit to the, to the people in Gaza that the, the civil society in our countries is completely against the policies of our government. This is the fifth voyage organized by the Free Gaza Movement. This success has been good news for both international and Palestinian activists. As international activists, it's wonderful because um, it, it shows that people are still able to come to Gaza and show our support uh, for the besieged people, population of Gaza, um, and that uh, vital equipment and medicines can still get into Gaza, even if this is the only means, because Egypt is complicit in keeping the borders locked. Yeah, I'm more than happy that this is a very successful day for the Palestinian people and for the Arab people and now we are calling all the Arab countries in order to continue sending Arab boats. The Free Gaza movement has made four successful boat trips to Gaza since last August and three more trips are planned. The Free Gaza movement's boat, the Dignity, has arrived again in Gaza for the fifth time, carrying on board the first Arab envoys from Qatar to challenge Israel's prolonged blockade. This blockade is expected to get tighter, especially in the light of the expiry of the truce deal between Israel and Hamas-run government. Yusuf al Press TV, Gaza Seaport.